What is up, guys? I am JKL17, and welcome back to episode 10 of my Road to Glory. And we're going to jump right into our first game here with our Serie A squad. And we're going up against FC Chris. And you can see he's got a bit of an interesting team here with Emanike and the Schneider up front. Uh, definitely a dangerous team. Um, but early on, we're going to put Menez through, and he's just going to do a little stop and pop action, which is a way we've been scoring a lot of goals. Um, it takes advantage of how aggressive defenders have been here in FIFA 15 and uses their speed against them. Um, and Menez just kind of tucks it in with that. Uh, it was a little bit awkward finish with that opposite foot, but we'll get it done. And then uh, Dries Mertens just kind of went off this episode, and uh, we're going to start off with a goal here with a near post finish in the 40th minute. Nice little over the top ball, and that's a that's a season's goal. I mean, in tournaments and single matches, I try to score a little bit more interesting goals, unless I'm playing with a an undermatched team. But in seasons, you got to get all the points you can get, and that over the top ball is going to get you uh, as many points as you're going to need. Um, but here he's got Victor Moses, who you know he can't even get games for Liverpool. He's on Stoke City, but apparently he can just stop and turn and get into the box and score on me, which is a little bit disheartening. I was a little bit upset with that. Giuseppe Ross is going to put uh, Burton's through again here, and we're going to take that two-goal lead back on a tidy little finish. Um, and, again, guys, like I've talked about Burton's a lot, and you, I just can't recommend him enough. He's a fairly, he's probably the most expensive player in this squad at uh, about 4,500 coins, but, I mean, he's going to he's gonna get the job done for you. Here you see Moses again just kind of flip somebody over his back, and he's going to get it across the net, and that's going to go off to Chiglio for an own goal. Ugh. But uh, in extra time here, we're going to put Fernando Torres through, and you didn't think you were going to go through a game without Fernando getting a goal, did you? No. Uh, El Nino gets on the board with a goal there in the 90th minute to make it 4-2, to two, and uh, that's a good win. That's a good win over a team that was really strong, really fast, really tough to handle with the inform Schneider and Emanike and Victor Moses. So that was a win I was pretty happy about. You see we hit the post again uh, pretty early then, which is just frustrating. I'm still doing that. I can't get past it. Rossi with three assists. A really nice game for Giuseppe. Definitely in the running for MVP of uh, Division 7 here. And we get on the board with the uh, the first win, um, win of the of the season. Uh, we're going to go away and we're going to discard Menez and Diong and replace them with uh, with new guys instead of throwing contracts on them. Um, probably won't ever do that with Diong again because of the powerhouse chemistry style I like to use. It's kind of a waste of money. Um, so we're going to go into a match here against Benzema, James, a Barbo, and I, I hate seeing these just jamming a Barbo into, into random teams, but... We were able to use his uh, speed against him a little bit for a nice little finish there with Fernando Torres in the 14th minute. I think this guy's team was like Satan's Hot Mom or something like that. Just a really interesting kind of team name, but an interesting dynamic trying to shove uh, just shove good players into a team, which never really works from a chem standpoint. But, I mean, I mean, whatever works, dude. I mean, you're in this division. You obviously kind of know what you're doing. Um And we just kind of give the ball away here. And I think I can try to, you know, force a Barbo to um to make a mistake and he but he doesn't and he finds Benzema for a goal to tie it up in the twenty seventh minute, but we weren't done. Uh Torres little stop and pop again. I mean guys like I keep saying that, I keep doing that goal, but I mean a stop and pop it's kind of a basketball turn. But you're gonna use your uh opponent's speed against him. You can see Torres here with a little cutback and that's how you finish to the far post. Um then we have a little bit of a, a weird goal here. Um, a Barbo all the way over to Benzema. He's just going to nutmeg the keeper um, and tie it up. And that's where I started to get a little bit uh, frustrated because he's I was all over this guy. He wasn't really getting a lot of opportunities on the net. And he just had good players to put him away. Benzema with both goals so far, 85 minutes. And uh, Mertens is just going to kind of give him a taste of his own medicine and run through the defense, fight off a tackle, keep his balance, and just finish to the near post with the 87th minute. Not a whole lot of time left. And that's going to be enough to secure us our second win here in Division 7. There's see the balance, and that's why Mertens is such a valuable player. Um, yeah, the Satan servants. Kareem Benzema, two goals. Two goals from Mertens. Two goals for Torres and assist another assist for Giuseppe Rossi. Just a really solid all-around win. 
to uh, get up to six points in the division. Um, we got to go to a fitness match here, and you can see how i am kind of got this hybrid thing going with uh, some Brazilians and some Bundesliga, and we're going to go up against this team with a Barbo, Quadrado, Pogba, Royce, Schweinsteiger, just a ridiculous team. And we managed to keep it um, pretty tight up until the 45th minute here when we managed to break through with Avicii Olic, who I th in my last video or a couple videos ago said that uh, he was OP, and he is, he is definitely a little bit OP. He's just a really strong striker. Um, and he's going to finish that every time with his left foot. But, um, again, right before half, right off the kickoff, he comes through with Royce, and somehow the whistle doesn't end up going here. Just going and going. He's holding it and holding it, and then boom, off the post. And give him credit, that was a beautiful shot, but, I mean, that was just totally against the run of play uh, up to that point. Uh, 52nd minute. Royce is going to run through again. That's just a bad move by myself. And Royce is going to finish that every time. He's just the highly rated players just do not make mistakes. And that was how this game was going to end. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this new little format with no music. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you all next time.